All right, guys. Just as I ended that video, <laughs> look at this. I just got the best notification update ever. This comes with your auto agent. It's a clip, there's a suction cup back here, and that's how it sits. I know I get a lot of questions about that. It comes with the auto agent tuner. It's probably loud because my back window's open. Let me close this. So, another thing is with driving season coming up so close, as you can see, temperature 43, we're closing in on driving season and nice weather and people are gonna do a lot of traveling for summer, spring break, stuff like that, long trips. I myself have one all the way to Daytona and I want to talk to you about one of the most useful things I have I've ever done it's free and it probably will help every single driver out on the road you guys already saw it this here this is the Waze app W A Z E now this Waze app allows you to do so much as you can see on here there's it's hard to tell with the camera all shaking and me driving but um, pretty much tells you everything points of interest allows you connect your iTunes Spotify so they link together up here it shows you I mean they'll refresh every so often but where other people using the app are it's not instantaneous so don't think you're being stalked but it just shows you where other people uh, who are using the app were recently at obviously you guys can see there's hundreds of cars and trucks on the road both ways so there's no like picking out who's the actual person using the app. So, with that being said, this Waze app is probably the most useful and convenient app I've ever used. I'm not sponsored by them, it's just something I've been using for years and I'm literally driving, looking at it, and I'm like, you know what? Uh, there's probably a lot of people who don't know about this. It is, it's a personal radar detector. It can find you food, gas, all that stuff, good stuff you need. Warns you when there's dead animals, potholes, construction, traffic that that legitimately that's one thing i can't drive without if you drive with this once and you try to use your, your apple maps or your google maps you literally can i mean for the longest time the apple maps did not tell you the speed limit and they still don't tell you the speed you're going uh it just tells you the speed limit ways tells you both the speed you're going and the speed limit itself so as we're cruising down the highway here yes my phone is in the easy link uh clip mount there i personally turned the directions off and the alerts are left on so i can hear when there's construction a police officer roadkill potholes um traffic i can hear all the alerts but i don't hear her saying directions especially pulling out of my neighborhood turn left turn right we all know how annoying that gets here in the directions you already know, so I just turn them off. It's just a useful, useful app, and I want to help all you guys out. And people are going to wonder how it works. Pretty much as you saw me at the beginning of this video, I sent in a um, an officer. That's pretty much warning other drivers, first of all, slow down. Second of all, he's there, which could also be a safety thing, because sometimes they're parked on the side of the road. And uh, like I, I sent one in, and he was on the other side of the highway, and he's just along the, the wall. So people coming around the corner, you know, if they're trying to, something happens, they gotta pull over quick. It could also be a safety thing. And there's so many users now that almost every alert is in fact sent in. You will catch on occasion, uh, like say police officers, you know, pulling into, you know, the median. You can send that in, warn other drivers. You get points and stuff. I really don't know what they do, but you get points and stuff for doing that. You see a car strike an animal, send it in. You find a new pothole on the road that's not been reported, report the pothole. Um, and what's really cool is, you know, like a day or so later, you get a notification on your phone and how many people have seen your alert and if they, you can like the alert, stuff like that. How many people uh, like your alert and stuff. So it's just super cool and really, really will help you out. Yeah. 
yes, it's late. We're still driving, but there's a casual I-8 in front of us. Just casual, you know. Dang, he's flying. I mean, not really, but trying to catch up, but uh, literally going 82. I mean, this truck is gigantic. He's flying. This is hilarious. Every time I'm on the highway, obviously you'll get a, a, like one comment's pulled up next to me. He decides to show off, stuff like that. It's like, I, I have nothing to prove. My truck's literally lifted on 37s and um, stuff like that, but I just like messing around sometimes with some guys, pull, making some poles as my camera goes completely out of focus. Going from like 70 to 80 and then they think they're hot stuff and they'll go like 92 and I'm like, dude, I got nothing to prove. This truck's on 37s, we're lifting. Uh, but there's this Dirty Max up here that I just, <laughs> I just did a pull on and he just, he just decided to, uh, he just decided to like show off. So let's try to get, it, get him to uh, do it again. This guy right here, this Dirty Max. because of this car darn he's exiting dang all right guys I know I don't do this much but here's a little shot with the light bar there's your 20 inch light bar I mean it does an excellent job I know I talked about it in last video but it does an awesome awesome job of lighting up the road that's for sure oh. so finally made it up here truck is absolutely dirty from the other day after I filmed last video, it got a little snowy. Uh, she needs a wash that's probably on the schedule for tomorrow. Cab lights, here's how she looks at night. I definitely need, I mean, they look white here, but they're definitely, definitely amberish yellow, so those need to go. But cab lights looking sharp. No leaks, no nothing so far. Like I said in the last video, had to disconnect the tailgate bar. Still got that wiring issue. Got to, it, 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 up here, there's a severed wire where, you know, I don't know, it's sticking out and I think two of them are connecting, so it's sending the wrong signal, but another awesome thing is, look at that, no check engine light. Some of you are gonna be like, no check engine light, and yeah, um, a while ago I drove from Columbus to Cleveland and I um, got a check engine light. I made a video about it a long time ago. Re disconnected, reconnect all the connectors under the hood, engine light went away. And it happened another time after that. However, since I changed to the low boost fueling tunes from e P from since I changed to the low boost fueling tunes from PPEI, that check engine light has never shot uh, never came up again. I don't know if after the whirly intake it, and holding boost the entire trip on the highway, it sent the map sensor out of uh, range or something and shot a code off. But uh, since the low boost fueling tunes, I don't know if the parameters are changed or something in there, but the check engine light is no more, which is awesome. Shut her down here. All right, guys. Well, we're up in Cleveland here, and we're gonna um, we're probably gonna shut this down for tonight. Obviously, every time I'm up here, I try to meet up with buddies and friends that I haven't seen in a long time, everything like that. So that is the plan tonight. Go get some Mexican food at our favorite place, as always. So, um, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. We're closing in on 60,000 subscribers. Uh, <laughs> this is this is awesome, especially where a lot of you don't know this yet, but where I'm heading with this channel, you guys are going to be like, wow. And I can't wait to get, I cannot wait till everything falls into place, especially with the parts coming in for my truck, parts coming in for my truck and other stuff happening behind the scenes, which you guys don't know yet. But when you do, you guys are going to be like, Oh wow, this is awesome. So that's that I can't wait for that. Stay tuned, obviously. Especially for the people who stay here this late in the video. You guys always get the secrets that most other people don't. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. And um this spring, summer, car season, truck season, driving season, whatever you want to call it, is about to get awesome. Stay tuned, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll be up here for a few days, so I don't know what we will or will not get into, but um, either you guys will either see some stuff or you won't see some stuff at all. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you always for your support. Love you guys. All right, guys. Just as I ended that video, <laughs> look at this. I just got the best notification update ever. The thing that was supposed to be delivered last Wednesday or this Wednesday, it will be delivered next 
Thursday. You guys are not even ready for this one. I promise you that. This one, oh, internet's, the whole internet's been waiting for this item. I get tagged in it so often. Everyone messages me, ask me about it, and I'm bringing it to you guys. It'll be here Thursday. Get excited. Like I said, whew, that makes me so relieved. So there's like an actual definitive date now. Get ready, guys. Love you.